Vermont highway deaths up again last year, and experts say there is no one reason why. We're still seeing a lot of the same contributing circumstances that we've been seeing for, for years. State Police Lieutenant John Flanagan points to speeding, impaired or distracted driving, and the fact that 16 percent of Vermont motorists still don't buckle up. Hoping lawmakers now join New York and other states and allow Vermont officers to pull you over solely for failing to wear your seatbelt. States that have uh, gone as from as a secondary state to a primary state uh, have increased their seatbelt usage rate by at least five points. You could support it. Uh, yeah, you know, at this at this time, uh, I may. Uh, I, I I want some facts. House Transportation Chairman Pat Brennan says he's certain the seatbelt change will come up for a vote this year. Other ideas now on the table, steeper fines for using handheld electronics or for driving under the influence. And maybe a pilot project to test automated speed camera technology, like these machines now in place in Maryland, Quebec too. Police say they have reduced crash rates and slow drivers down. There seems to be some, some effectiveness with that type of a program if used in the correct locations. A state trooper can write up to four speeding tickets in a given hour. An electronic unit can write four a minute. The machines read the license plate of a speeding car and mail the owner a ticket. That raises privacy concerns at the ACLU, a technology they say could easily be used to track someone's position. It's a type of surveillance. We oppose that. Still, in a rural state with relatively few cops. I don't see any problem in that, and you may see that in, uh, you know, we might have that discussion too and put it, put it in our uh, safety bill. Who knows? Highway Safety Chief tells us they've been considering a pilot project uh, involving this technology. A study of drivers in Quebec showed after automated cameras were installed, the proportion of speeders dropped sharply from 60 to 20%. It is not clear, though, whether Governor Scott would support this idea. His spokeswoman has not gotten back to us. <laughs>